everybody welcome back to about the popcorn if you guys are new my name is stephanie today we're going to be talking about el camino a breaking bad movie you ready yeah so this movie is supposed to take place right after the ending of breaking bad we're gonna go ahead and just start off with the elephant in the room it has been six years so these characters obviously have aged i personally was able to look past it it didn't bother me uh too much the one that well there was just one character that kind of did bother me a little bit which was uh tops they could have used the anti-aging technology but i don't really necessarily know how that would have played out in this movie i'm gonna throw out the sexist card out there because they were men they didn't make them lose weight because i feel honestly if this was a female they would have for sure made them lose weight because let's just face it, it it is what it is when it comes to us women they expect a little bit more from us you know the public eye is more accepted of the men you know gaining the weight or you know whatever but when it comes to a female you'll get more of those judgmental uh looks and comments of. i'm just putting that out there because everybody's just talking about the age deal and i'm really gonna uh, address that part as well because if it was vice versa it probably would have been a whole other story going around i like many others was very hesitant about this uh, movie coming out i'm like i was content with how breaking bad ended i mean vince did an amazing job with this series i don't think there's ever been or will be anything like this um so there are gonna be some breaking bad spoilers but there's not gonna be any spoilers for this particular film because i feel like you guys may come after me the movie did come out on friday i'm doing this review on a sunday actually you know what scratch that i am giving one spoiler honestly after he like broke through the gates and like was screaming and like because he was free i was content with that i'm like okay he's going to like drive off somewhere and he's he's good like that's the end of his story but i honestly didn't think too much of it you know it was just like okay that's it he's done with we're moving right along to walter you know then he dies and then that's like the end of the story but then here we are six years later and i'm assuming vince just couldn't sleep at night thinking well what the hell happened to jesse after he went through those gates honestly even while the show was going on like it never even crossed my mind of what they were necessarily doing to him while he was in cat uh, captivity what he was going through i mean we did see there you know of course in that final uh, episode how broken he really was but to actually have seen some of the things that he went through or some of the things that he saw through his flashbacks just get more of a sense of what was really going on and what was really happening through that time so they do have a lot of flashbacks throughout the movie i didn't mind them because you know what vince is just brilliant at what he does and everything has a purpose this is really good at giving you something early on you know in the season with breaking bad or in the movie here in el camino and it will have some sort of significance later on in this particular movie something that's mentioned in the beginning you'll see there at the very end of the movie as well i'm not gonna say what but just kind of pay attention to how the movie starts off the with. cinematography here every scene that's in this movie was shot so beautifully Also, this particular scene when jesse is in todd's apartment if you've seen the movie you know what i'm talking about when he's searching for something just you know you see the whole apartment that shot amazing it was brilliant one of my favorite scenes throughout the whole movie another scene that i really liked the way that it was shot was the opening scene which you know it, it involves a special cameo kind of brings us back to the particular scene in season five where that cameo person is involved in which is kind of like bittersweet because what's going on in el camino and that the what they're talking about we know how it's going to end like this video if you know where i'm going with this again i really don't want to spoil it and talking about cameos we do get quite a few cameos in this movie you know again they are just cameos so you're not going to expect to see a lot of these characters throughout the whole film it's two hours long and it is a slow based film i mean overall the story was written was directed beautifully the performances in here were absolutely fantastic um Aaron Paul should definitely be nominated for a Golden Globe for his performance in this and then we get down to my spoiler which is that Jesse actually ends up killing two additional people and I guess because of everything he's been through he seems to take it pretty 
pretty well you know he wasn't freaking out regardless of the situation that he was in i feel like if it was in the show before he was captured his conscience obviously would have been eating him alive he would have been crying um but he took it differently yeah. just the way that we got to close off his story and i think his story is officially closed i after this i really don't want to see anything else come out of this <laughs> like this video if you agree this movie was just ended perfectly with that last shot that was done which has a significance as well with the name of the the movie besides sitting with a car because i didn't realize that that was the type of car that there is because i don't know jack shit about cars other than that's a black car with the red stripe there is more of a significance uh, to that final scene that's what i took of it with the open road um or the open camino to you know in jesse's uh, story so what did you guys think about the movie? Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, here for it, could you have done without it? Are you wanting more to come from this? Or are you also good with it, it being like this? I quite enjoyed it. Is it like the best movie that I've ever seen all year long? No, but it was an interesting movie. Um, it, if you are not somebody who likes a slow pace type of movie, you're more than likely not going to enjoy it. And if I was not a fan of the series, or if I decided to just watch this movie just for the hell of it with I have seen the series, I honestly don't think that I would have finished it, to be honest with you. Because I'm just not into like films that are like here. I need some up and down. If you haven't seen my previous two reviews, check them out because that will definitely tell you guys to watch this movie instead of going to the theaters. But before you guys click out of this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye. I do want to say that unfortunately on Saturday we did lose Robert Forster. As small as a role as he did have in this movie, he was fantastic. He was such a wonderful actor. Uh, may he rest in peace.